Meyer's newest store is opening this week, and you may notice a few changes compared to other Meyer's stores. You'll be able to get a first look inside the Woodward Corner Market on Wednesday. But guess what? We have a preview for you right now. We're so happy to have Natalie Rubino, the Hi. manager of the new store. Hello to you. And Hi, Chef good morning. Paul Cataldo from Perino, one of the local brands you're going to see there. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. And making the studio smell. It does smell delicious. So delicious. <laughs> so now let's start with you. Tell yeah. us about this new market. So Woodward Corner Market, it's a, it's a fresh local value market that focuses on the neighborhood and the community. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's most important to us is our assortment with local. We actually have over 2,000 items that we're bringing in for, for the community and the customers that are local. That's so We're great. really excited. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so great to support the yeah. local businesses and Prino is one of them. And so, Chef, what are you making for us right so now? So today we're going to make an arrabbiata sauce. For those of you that don't know what arrabbiata is, it's, um, you know, growing up in an Italian household, mm -hmm. I heard that a lot from my mother. It means mad. It means oh. angry. <laughs> so you eat something that's really hot and it makes you like, oh, I'm so, oh, I could, <laughs> yeah. I could do something. So, um, so it starts out with just a little olive oil okay. uh, on a hot skillet. We're, then we're going to add um, the garlic. All right, I'll be your chalice. sous chef. Yeah. Yes, that'd be great. And so chalice. this is a little a little bit of a twist on the traditional arrabbiata. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the cup, because we had the cup of cordo. I'm from Calabria, which mm -hmm. is uh, in southern Italy. So we like to, you know, kick it up a little bit. So what we're going to do, is we're going to cook this. So you have three, so far three items. You have shallots, garlic, and mm -hmm. uh, the capicord, which is a hot ham. Um, so it, you can get that uh, at Myers, okay. I'm sure. Yeah. And then we're going to add um, about 12 ounces of um, San Marzano oh. uh, tomatoes. Wow, look at now, that. Now, let's just say, you know, oh, I can't find San Marzano tomatoes. Just use a plum tomato okay. at, at this point. So we're going to incorporate that all together. And once that marries real well together, we're going to add the hot stuff. Now, wow. the, the hot ham or the cup of cordu is a little spicy, mm -hmm. but we're also going to kick it up. What if you don't like it so hot? Don't put it in. Don't it's put okay. it in. It's nice to yeah. raise the temperature a little yeah, bit, Yeah, right? it's a little oregano just for a little bit of flavor. And then we're going to cook that just a little bit so that um, all those flavors oh, just really kind of hang out together. Work out and together. <laughs> and then we're going to put a little Romano cheese. Now, we're going to oh. put Romano cheese. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have Romano, use Parmesan, yeah. okay? Now, I like to use Romano because it's a little bit uh, saltier. So when I cook, I cook with the Romano and I top with the Parmigiano Reggiano. Um, so and then we're always, 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 always taste, 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 taste. Oh. So I put salt <laughs> yeah. to taste, salt to taste. So we're, we're gonna, happy to yeah, taste. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're, we're gonna salt it because I know I, I'm kind of a salt freak. I know it's gonna need a little salt. A little bit. So, okay. So then, then you can say, well, I think I, I want it a little hotter. Add more, add more pepper. You can add more. Yeah. So we're gonna taste it. All right. I think it's pretty Thumbs good. Thumbs up. Now, one more thing. Yes. Sorry. So because I'm from southern Italy. I love to cook with fresh food, oh, and, be get some fresh and before basil in there. before we we mix the pasta, in, I just put a little bit of fresh basil in there. Yeah, and then, but right at the end, it's so right at the end, so we don't put it in too soon. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we can add the pasta. Wonderful. In this case, it's a sausage ravioli. Looks and Perino, yeah, Perino Foods does a fantastic yeah. job with the sausage pep uh, sausage pepperoni, sausage, <laughs> the sausage ravioli, and it, it uh, is very traditional. Yeah, in business family for 50 owned years. business, 50 starting years. in Melvindale, and and something else that makes uh, Meyer unique too. What about the the shopping bags you guys are doing differently? So you know, we just thought it was the greatest opportunity to open up with removing the single single plastic bags, mm -hmm. um, just to improve the recycling efforts and reduce waste. We thought it was the right thing to do for our community. And our customers, so we're really excited to do it. That's wonderful. I'm going to let All you put right. the cheese on it. All right, I'm going to make I'm it rain with the it. cheese here. Gonna, go me, ahead. Let you me can go plate, plate it. And, uh, we want to make sure everyone knows exactly where it is. Yes. And yeah. tell us about the grand opening. 13 on in Woodward on January 29th. We open the doors at 8 a.m. on okay. Wednesday, so very excited. A little sauce All on right. top All right, and some there. grand opening fun for people yep. who... Uh, we'll have some giveaways and uh, some... Definitely some demoing, some sampling going on. So don't be scared. With more, all our local vendors. More is best. <laughs> more is Just better. like Paul from, from Perino, get some good demos there. Wonderful. Looks delicious. All right. So I'm wait, 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 wait. We got to put a little bit of olive oil on there. You're making this a 40-minute yes, segment, and, and aren't yes, you? Yes, and then we have a little more fresh basil. <laughs> Wonderful. And there you go. Chef, uh, thank you so bon much. Appetit, so. We can't wait to taste yes, it. And we'll have you. the recipe for the sauce on our website, WXYZ.com. Just check the scene on 7th section. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm.